HIV and Ilga Europe, also on behalf of their partners in the Bridging the Gaps program, as well as in-country partners in the Eastern Europe and Central Asia region. Let me first thank UNAIDS for the report on the next segment on legal environments. Let me also thank the Executive Director for his report to the BCB this morning and express our appreciation for his supportive remarks on May 17, the International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia. However, it is with great concern that we see a growing trend of proposed legislation in member states in the Eastern Europe and Central Asia region banning so-called propaganda of homosexuality in one form or another. Under such legislation, publications on safe sex, health rights and HIV prevention aimed at LGBT people, including publications prepared with guidance and or support from WHO and UNAIDS, could now be banned. The possession or distribution of such materials may lead to criminal prosecution. This would not just affect LGBT people seeking health services, but also the work of health workers and human rights defenders. Not only is such legislation blatantly homophobic, it could have a severe negative impact on the HIV response among gay men and other men who have sex with men and transgender people in these countries. It exacerbates pre-existing discrimination in healthcare and could deter LGBT people from seeking health services. Furthermore, these proposed laws lay responsibility for HIV transmission solely at the feet of gay men and other men who have sex with men, which simply fuels the stigma and discrimination that member states have so recently committed to eradicate. Therefore, Madam Chair, with reference to the conclusions of the 26th PCB and the 19th session of the UN Human Rights Council, noting the universal human right that LGBT people have to the highest attainable standard of health, noting the severe negative impact that proposed legislation in member states could have on the HIV response in Eastern Europe and Central Asia, we would like to ask UNAIDS to use its convening authority to urge member states to uphold their commitments to a dedicated HIV response as made in the 2011 political declaration, to uphold human rights of LGBT people, which is a prerequisite for effective prevention and health work by announcing any of such law initiatives, and ask the Executive Director to speak out strongly against such proposed legislation. Thank you.